Today I want to do a real quick overview of the tag system for Scala Lessons. More specifically, the Centrifuge Training Edition model. This is a collaboration between Will Petty of Centrifuge Training and Triarch Systems. This is their 2011 collaboration. I ordered this particular handgun in July of this year, 2021, with an acknowledgement of an 8 to 10 week build time frame. This handgun was delivered to me one day short of nine weeks, so they did meet that deadline. I chose the commander length slide with an RMR cut. Other options include a government length slide and no optic cut. To my knowledge, the RMR cut is the only optic cut available, so it will accept the RMR footprint and those that share that, the Hollisons and uh, I guess the SRO as well. They're all black nitrided. So what do you get with this particular handgun? Charge Systems will send you a padded case with some swag patches. Additionally, if you order the optic cut, you'll receive the optic plate and you'll receive the hardware for mounting your optic. Additionally, you'll receive three stainless magazines. These are 17 round capacity magazines. They have the Triarch logo as well as the centrifuge logo on them. I opted for the centrifuge base plates. Additionally, I ordered some black nitrided magazines. These are also 17 rounds. They have the same logos on them and I upgraded to the centrifuge base plates. These particular handguns start out at $2,400 and go up to around $2,600, depending on options. So I've had this particular firearm for just, uh, just under two weeks, and I've got uh, just a little over 1,000 rounds through it. I'm shooting a Federal American Eagle 124 grain ball. In that time frame, I've had no issues. Very light cleaning, and uh, that's just about it. The two issues that I did have were both shooter-induced, one of those being a fail-to-feed. It was an improperly seated magazine, easily remedied by tapping the magazine and uh, remedial action. The only other um, issue that I noted was around the 700-750 round mark, I noted these uh, optic hardware screws were backing out. Again, the optic was not installed by Triarch Systems. I installed it. I installed it with the Vibratite VC3 and 10 inch pounds. I have since gone back with VC3, but I have up, uh, increased that torque to 15 inch pounds. Since increasing the torque, I've had no issue with those screws or hardware backing out. So pros. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, if you're into aesthetics, and it doesn't mean a whole lot to me, but this is a nice looking handgun. There's some subtle uh, identification on here as far as logos and names of, of centrifuge training on here, as well as uh, logo of Triarch Systems. But again, it's, it's professional, it's nicely done, and it doesn't appear to be um, obnoxious or, or, or overly done. Additionally, I like the stippled grip. It seems to be very aggressive. I like that in handguns. I don't want the handgun to walk in my grip or, or move when, when it's uh, compromised, when grip is compromised. I like the uh, minimalist magazine uh, magwell here. You do know that it's there, but it's not overkill. It's not obnoxious. It's not a, it's not a huge competition magwell, but it is nicely, uh, nicely done. Trigger, I enjoy the flat triggers, no issues there. I would say it's a duty rated trigger. I've uh, shot 2011s, plenty of 2011s with lighter triggers, but again, it's not uh, advertised as being super light. It's, it's not supposed to be, it's, it's, it's a duty trigger. Uh, but, but, but the flat aspect or the flat shoe, I do like that. Safeties, everything's tactile on off, magazine release, no issues there. For the red dot mounted uh, option, you'll receive suppressor height sights. Uh, markings on the front indicate that that's Trigicon. Those are night sights. There are serrations on the back, and they do um, come up just a little bit there for that suppressor height. But they're not obnoxious, and they don't obscure the window. So those are a nice touch and a nice upgrade as well. Things I'd like to change... Uh, I'd honestly have to be pretty nitpicky uh, to find anything that right now I'm having issues with. But uh, if I were to, to be nitpicky and point something out, for me personally, I'd like to see them radius this portion of the trigger guard 
uh, where it meets the grip here. Uh, for short range trips, not an issue. For extended uh, 300 round, 400 round, maybe an all day handgun class, uh, you might notice that, or I notice that my hands will be different than yours. You may not, but uh, any polymer genius, evil genius, uh, would be able to radius uh, that trigger guard and just smooth around that profile out, making that a non-issue. Not sure where that would stand with Triarch Systems and their warranty. I would uh, suggest a call or, or an email or something from them before you made any modifications to their handgun. Other than that, and that's really being nitpicky, takedown was easy. I'm not a 2011, I'm not a 1911 expert. Uh, there weren't instructions in there, but Triarch Systems does have a video that I was easily able to follow. In that, uh, just over a thousand rounds that I have, very light cleaning, mostly just making sure I had oil in all the right places. So no issues. Uh, we're in the very early stages of shooting this, but again, my sample size is one, but... At this point, if you were considering this, you know, it would be something that I would recommend having shot some other ones. Uh, it's been a good handgun, and obviously time will tell. I know some of the wait times on their Tri 11s are, are out there a ways. This particular one, all the parts were in stock, and they took payment in full and, and said 8 to 10 weeks, and again, they met that, di that deadline. So no issues that I'm aware of there for, for my for my side of things with the, with the purchase of this handgun. So if you're on the fence and want to pick one of these up when they go into stock or when they're available, uh, at this point, I don't have any reason not to recommend them. So if you have questions, uh, if you'd put those down below, I will try to address them. And uh, thanks for watching.